Finally. If only we could have flown with the wind to get... Finally. If only we could have flown with the wind to get here faster. into that pit of astral energy. Helganquil! Guess they don't need their Red Woman disguises anymore. Wait. Can you understand us? It's no use. We're not going to get through to them. So they really are being controlled. In that case, we've got no choice. I knew there was something off here! They're not pulling punches. We have no choice but to beat them at their own game. Quiver Dragon! I'm not done! It's over! I never miss! Get oh. Armor won't save you! Stop. for what they've done, but I hate killing them. They don't even know why they're fighting. How does that even make them any different from the Danon slaves? Perhaps. However, if we don't make a choice, the guilt of not doing anything will be that much worse. Yeah, I know. I hate for it to be like this. But if it happens again, you won't find me hesitating to act. I wonder if we're going to get attacked again. If we lose heart now, this whole mission is over. We have to stay the course. I thought there'd be more dirt and rocks and stuff underneath the hollowed ocean, but it's all artificial. I would imagine they're remnants left behind by the Helganquil, seeing as there's little actual land remaining. It's incredible. Do you think it stretches all the way down to the center of the planet? Hey, these guys built Lenigus, remember? He probably did this in a weekend. If they had the power to create things like this, did they really only use those immense capabilities to serve the Great Spirit? Or rather, was that the only use the Great Spirit let them use their capabilities for? We haven't seen anyone here except Helganquil. Looks like this place really is their home planet. The true citizens of Rena. What a shame that they have become nothing more than puppets to the Great Spirit. To think of the promise their accomplishments once held. They had the potential to be great indeed. Do you think we could have got along with them? You know, if we had met under different circumstances. 
Like... Like all of us, you mean. I suppose it's difficult to say for sure. We don't even know if they would see us as being on an equal level with them or not. I think we may have had the chance once, before the Renan Great Spirit came along and... changed everything. You and Alfin both share an optimism. A strong willingness to believe in hope. <laughs> Do you think that's foolish? On the contrary, I should like to take a leaf from your book myself. In Tragedy's Aftermath, hope is all we have. Just look at the size of that thing. The Helganquil's technology certainly is impressive. And they don't seem to do things by halves, either. In the past 300 years. No, oh, even before that. Just how many people, Renan or Danon, do you think have ever seen this? Regarding the past three centuries, at least, I'd say there's a good chance that we're the first. Also, while I get that it's impressive and all, I'm just amazed you're still standing around gawping at it at a time like this. Sometimes I wonder about your priorities. I can understand where he's coming from. More to the point, does anyone know where it leads? What do you mean, where it leads? To the center of the planet, of course. And that doesn't strike you as sounding just a little bit, oh, I don't know, far? There has to be a quicker way to get there, right? Yeah. With all this technology at their fingertips, it seems pretty unlikely that they'd make that kind of journey on foot. There must be some kind of device somewhere. Let's see if we can figure out how to use it. Borrow one of their contraptions? You're either brave or out of your mind. If it works for them, there's no reason it wouldn't for us. Why make things harder for ourselves? You know what he's like, Law. Once he gets an idea in his head, there's no talking him out of it. Armed giant. Is this the Zoogle from the request? It's not only alive, but completely uninjured. We'll just have to see for ourselves if it's really as ferocious as they say. Thank you. 
get out of this!
far through armor. Armor. You require help. He's dead. In a bind, nothing no. gets by right. now. I'm in the groove. I won't give up. See what happens here if you cross me. Stay away Shouldn't from my friend. Ready to go. Lock, get toasty. Bird strike. Well, we beat it in the end. Let us harvest what we can use and take it with us. Built for the sake of it and then cast aside. How sad. I wonder how the Renans avoided being mind-controlled like the Helganquil. Do you think it might have something to do with the fact that they were originally Danans? I'd say it's likely. Which is pretty ironic when you think about it. Ironic? The Renans have committed grave injustices against the Danans. But it was all of their own volition, not because they were being controlled. Now, it turns out they themselves were once Danans too. Which must mean that the root of their evil isn't the Great Spirit, but something inherent in all of us. Our free will. Now hang on, though. It was that same free will that allowed Xion and Dohalim to choose to fight alongside us. Without it, we wouldn't have been able to beat hatred and forge all those connections we've made. Free will is what saved us, right? Law's entirely right. In any case, it certainly can't hurt to look on the bright side every now and then. Yeah. Where there's hope, there's a way. <coughs> What'd he say? He said, without a doubt. Finally made it. Looks like we get to sleep with a roof over our heads. Yes. Very well. This is the Vicent training ground. Hey, isn't that a help hand well, Is it some sort of prototype? Whatever it is, it's a real tough customer. Eat this! Oh, oh, searing Take this! Take this! Here's through! Uh, field! 
ready to go. I'll be saving this you. Where are you going? Here go. Take it out. Right. 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 Right.
Huh? Hey! Mm-hmm. Watch it! <laughs> Oh, what? Seriously? <laughs> Seriously? I sense a poor soul who is in dire need. Sounds like our cue to step in and help. Step back! This one's all law! Seriously, what do they take us for? Research subjects, just like everything else. Looks like we made it here in one piece.
I won't forgive you! All disasters made one! You're mine! Super Swallow Dead! Powered Hurricane! No escape! Master! Prepare for the evil! There's a real pain in the butt! It's finished! Let's do it! No further! Didn't even break a sweat. I Take won't forgive that. you. A whirling struggle. I'm not done. Burning Let me heaven. Glacial spear. Burning This one's Free all mine. Your voice. Nice lock. Let me through. Get all the work. Hey, I'm here too, you know. Together, that wasn't even a problem. That's a big zoogle. Yeah, I'm not sure we can take it. of the trash. This one's mine! Time to and wet you! In here? Oh. It'll body slam a tornado a week! Far enough! The flashing parts are weak! Tornado! 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 That'll bring you down! Here goes! Here goes! Tornado! Here goes! Here goes! Here goes! Burn! Searing tempests! And that's my will! Lair Tornado! In a vine! Sliver Dragon! Much for sitting this way. Yeah, that wouldn't be a complaint out here. Nope, that's too much. Come on, now. It's time. I go. Come on, go. 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 Like that, don't know what I Just as well. Uh, now you see what I can do. Perhaps now isn't the time. I really don't. Can't get out of this. Ready to go. Ready to go. Ready to go. Ready to this ends now! Consider yourself finished! Where are you going? Do not! Hurricane. Will this help? Armor oh, 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 won't save you! There you go! In a bind! You are too human. To stop me dying? Oh, oh, right. They're not playing around! You're mine! And again! It's over! Rain down in purple! No one ever! No good!
If it's in the sky, it's mine! Yes, it's away. Get out of this! Nice Leave work. the charges to me! Dance in the wind! Enough! Air, 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 Stay away from my friend! Finish this! Kisara! Commander of Heaven! Phoenix Cyclops! I've been doing really great lately. Like we made it here in one piece. Hey, she's pretty cute. <laughs> That's insane. Something happened. <laughs> really now. <sighs> huh. Is that so? Well... <laughs> Is this really a good idea, though? Are you not the one who wished to reach an accord with them? Yeah.
We finally made it. Hey, Xion. Why do you look so tense whenever we're traveling on the road? Do I? It's not something I do consciously. It makes you look really Renin in a way, if you get what I mean. Oh, not in a bad way, though. That's interesting. I never thought I'd see the day where you'd say something being Renin wasn't an insult. Well, the same goes for you, right? You don't go around saying it's bad to be Danon. True. I guess you have a point there. Hey, Alfin. Why do you like spicy food so much, anyway? You know, I haven't thought about that before. Maybe because when I couldn't feel pain, it gave me that kick I was craving. But now that you can feel pain again, wouldn't your tastes have changed? Did you like spicy food when you were younger? Not as much as I do now. At some point, it just became something almost like an addiction, I guess. I can most certainly relate. Once you've had your fill of ordinary food, you cannot help but seek out more unusual fare. I don't think that's got anything to do with Alfin's tastes. Although I won't deny that you definitely have a thing for exotic food. The stranger the better. I just wish I could have gotten you into sweets like me, Alfin. I like food that's dense and keeps you feeling full myself. It helps you last longer when you're on the move. We all know you're a quantity over quality kind of... What was that? Uh, nothing. I, uh... I lost my train of thought. You know, I've also noticed Xion's not really into the same kind of food most Renans are. Could be it's got something to do with the way she grew up. That's so me! Even when I was little, I was all about food that gives me strength. All meat, all the time! And I guess Kisara is so good at cooking fish, because she can catch them herself. I'm only good with fish because it used to be the easiest thing to get. When you work with something long enough, it comes naturally to you. I like fish just fine, but what I really like about your cooking is how it tastes homemade. It reminds me of what my mom used to make. Really? You know, I used to cook a lot of meals for younger kids, and they said the same thing. When you get down to it, I guess the things a person cooks and the foods they like say a lot about the way they've lived. Uh, what?! Hey guys, I don't see any of our food anywhere! What? I know! The bag we kept it all in has vanished! <sighs> Some Zoogles must have gotten in behind us and swiped the whole thing while we were fighting! What? Huh? What are you guys talking about? This affects you too, you know! We lost all our food, including all those sweets you love so freaking much! What? How could this happen? Those sweets are the highlight of my day! Oh, so hungry. Hunger is like that. The moment you know there's nothing you can do about it, it becomes that much more unbearable. Whoever did this, I swear I'm gonna make them pay for stealing our supplies. <sighs> All that's left now is this one lonesome apple. <gasps> Law? What? Hey, don't look at me like that. I picked this apple myself. I'm not just gonna... Food. Hand it over. <laughs> Stay away! <laughs> hmm. Hey, I'm back. Uh, huh? What the heck happened here? <sighs> Only a pointed reminder of how dangerous a food shortage can be in a collective. A serious problem indeed. And one we should all be mindful of. I... I see. Does it have anything to do with why you're holding our food supply bag behind your back? This is a true masterpiece, no less than culinary. Rinwell, mind if we chat a little? Mm -hmm. I'm surprised to see you up reading so late. What have you got there? 
Oh, it's a book about magic. I was hoping I'd reach the end of this chapter before I went to bed. I'm impressed you can read all that tiny text without drifting off. It's easy. Honestly, the subject is so interesting, it keeps me wide awake. Although I have to admit, the more I read this book, the more I realize just how much I still have to learn. I hate not knowing it all, so it pushes me to keep learning as much as I can so I can be a real expert. So that's why you're studying by the campfire every night, huh? You've really changed, Rinwell. R really I don't feel like it. Remember how you used to be when we first met in Calaglia? Sure, but that's because I was still hiding a lot from you guys. Am I really all that different aside from that? Definitely. It's the difference between a rock and the sun. Are you saying I used to be like a rock? That's not something you should use to describe a girl, Alfin. <laughs> My bad. But the comparison is still apt. You used to not be open with us about your magic at all. And now look at you. Well, I guess you may have a point. I used to hate studying magic because my parents made me do it. And after everything that happened, I... I felt like it brought nothing but trouble. But now, I don't think it's so bad after all. Maybe I really have changed more than I thought. All magic is simply astral energy combined with knowledge. It's neither good nor bad by itself. It all depends on how you use it. Saying it out loud, I guess I finally made peace with it. I think you have Law to thank for that. What? Why him? I mean, he was kind of the one who... Nope, he's got nothing to do with it. None. Zilch. Nada. Nothing. <laughs> if Law heard that, he'd be pretty bummed, you know. Y you're crazy. I don't see why he would be. Are you saying you'd rather he wouldn't be? <sighs> I'd say the fact you can get so worked up about things now is another sign you've changed. Sounds like someone wants me to put on a little magic show. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll take my leave before I say anything else that might get me into trouble. Just make sure you aren't staying up too late, okay? Ugh, I'm not a little kid anymore. Yeesh. Though, actually... It felt kind of nice hearing that. I wonder why. Ooh. We should really get some rest. Thanks to you, I was able to rest easy. Something feels odd here. Be on your guard. That was quite the little adventure we went on.